A local man's wheelchair was stolen right from his garage. Matt Farman used that specially designed wheelchair to have an active Colorado lifestyle, but that was taken from him. Denver 7 Sally Mamdu joins us live from Denver where that theft took place. Sally. Adam, the man's wheelchair was stolen from his apartment complex right here behind me, but the man's look of despair quickly turned into pure delight. Watch what happened when we were talking to him. Matt Farman's love for the outdoors tragically put him in a wheelchair. My hit a tree sledding and broke my back when I was 11. But it's this wheelchair that makes him forget he ever sat in one. And I do a lot of golfing with it. It allows you to stand up fully and you can take a full golf swing. It allows you to just interact standing up as if I wasn't in a wheelchair. He took a loan to buy this $20,000 recreational chair and says it's worth every dime. That means freedom. But that freedom was snatched from him when someone stole it from his apartment's garage. Kind of really hasn't sunk in yet. I mean, that's a good chunk of my life that just kind of <laughs> was gone. Matt was hoping to make his weekend golfing ritual. If I have a tea time tomorrow at 7 a.m. that I obviously can't go to. And with no leads from police, Matt is left with little hope. But then, right in the middle of our interview, this happens. Holy <laughs> What? They just found it. In disbelief, Matt can't make of what he just heard from the apartment security staff. How did you go look? Where, down this way? Is it in there? It's down this way? Moving as fast as he can to the apartment's trash storage room. Do you think they were coming back to get it? Where it was found. I'm, I just can't believe What? Dude. Holy smokes. Is it in good condition? It's in very good condition. It's how I, how I had it. This is very great. Relieved to find his freedom wheels in one piece with even his empty Gatorade bottle he left on it and his golf balls that he says he'll need for tomorrow. I think I can go golfing tomorrow, tea time at 7 o'clock. And police plan to obtain surveillance video from the apartment complex. Once they review it, they'll make it available to us. For now, we're live in Denver. Sally Mandu, Denver 7. I love that it was found. Thank you, Sally.